Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Chopper. So pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, you can look in the description and you'll find a link to click on that will take you directly to the Sharpie portion of the video. Or you can also follow the other link that will take you to the coloring portion of the video. So for those of you that are sticking around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and then we'll get started. So I just kind of try to come up with a good pose and I think, let's see, how about like this? Yeah, I think, I think what I'm going to do is uh, have her kind of like with her arm out throwing, throwing the piece, throwing the fingers, you know, the throwing one of those, something like that, you know? Yeah, something like that. So that's a good sketch. It's a good start. That'll get me going where I want to go. And then uh, let's see if I can take you with me. Woof, I drew that sketch way too big. I sketched the, uh, the uh, helmet. But that's okay, it's, it's just a sketch. We're not there yet, we're just throwing ideas down. So see, I don't even have the rest of her body, so I don't know why I'm freaking out that, that ooh, that was too, too big. I should, I should uh, I'm putting the cart before the horse, is basically what the, how that saying goes. And what that means is I'm, I'm, I'm uh, thinking too far ahead when I haven't even gotten there yet. So, let's see. All right, I like where this is going. Oh, and the other thing is too, I'm not gonna do all that detail in her jacket. That's gonna be color because uh, I may do like the lapel. Uh, let's do that. I'll give you a little bit of something, but uh, a lot of this is just um, the coloring of the skin. And uh, they they do stuff like that, uh, or they did like uh, uh, you know this is an older older uh, skin to avoid the polygon count in uh, making the 3D models of these. I actually do 3D modeling. That's why I know a little bit about that. But um, when you, the, the more polygons in it, the, the harder it is to render and it'll slow it down. So what you wanna do is you try, you wanna try to add all this detail with uh, um, the color, like, you know, the painting of the character, rather than uh, uh, modeling it, because that's just more, more rendering time and it just slows you down, you know? Especially when you're just trying to, to, to play your game and it's slowing down because it's it's trying to render yeah they they take that into account so they try to to uh make it as smooth as possible with as, as little pixels as many as little pixels as possible is the word i was trying to say it wasn't quite coming out all right all right i think that'll work Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. We're gonna do something like that. So see, what I end up doing is I end up making everything way too long. Or I make the hands way too big, you know? And so I have to take that into account whenever I'm sketching, because sometimes I get excited and I just wanna draw everything. And I wanna draw this and look at that, and ooh, look how fun it is, you know? <laughs> but uh, I gotta remember that, you know, slow down, take a breath, and you don't have to make everything cartoonish. All right, so oh, actually this comes in here like that. Okay, so enough uh, video game education. I'm just uh, trying to tell you that uh, her suit is all painted on. So I, I guess I'll do the lapel uh, of the jacket and, and give you something. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually draw it up here. I'm gonna make it look like it's actually 3D because you know what? I forgot the most important thing of this entire project. We are the creators. We get to do whatever we want. 
and if I feel like drawing the uh, the the jacket, I get to do that. You know, that's that's the fun part of of sketching all this and creating it myself is I do whatever I want. And if I want to do that, I'm going to do it. Okay. So now I'm just trying to make sure I let's see. I didn't trying to make sure that I have the the face placed correctly, which I didn't. But again, that's what sketching is for, so it's no big deal. And let's see. Something like this. And I gotta remember the hair. It kind of comes over like this. And then it's gonna cut off because of her helmet, right? So I'm going to spend a little time getting that right. Just to make sure it looks good. Because that's kind of the whole thing about Chopper, right? It's like it's not like, like I'm just drawing it just because... Uh, well, I, I take that back. I was just about to say I'm not drawing it because of the challenge. But yes, I am. I actually am drawing it because of the challenge. You know, you should always challenge yourself. And uh, I, I like the character, I like the costume, and it is a challenge to see if I can do it, if I can pull it off. So, I am. But uh, what I was trying to say is, I'm not doing it just to throw stuff on. I want to, uh, I want to uh, honor the sketch uh, and honor the designers by doing it right. You know, this is where it's going to get tricky. Those spikes, because with the sharpie it's way too small to do all that you know so we'll see if i can pull that off and uh and still make it look good all right so let's see if i bring this down because i have her head up a little bit that'll look much better okay looks good looks good looks good so i'm going to Draw out her legs. All right, and again, I got I got way too many sketch lines in here. I'm going to erase some of this just so, whenever I do shrink it in, shrink it in. Whenever I do uh, sharpie it in, uh, those won't stand out. My sketch is there, and I can see it, so I know what I'm doing. But uh, I have way too many sketch lines in here. All right, so let's see. I'm going to come in here, do this one of these. Let me find a better picture of her. She's got the straps. Something like that. And then her boot. I'm just going to do one of these. And again, see, I, I get I get really low and I got to be careful of that because I'm going to fall off the page. So I'm gonna to try to shorten up her foot a little bit like that. See if I can pull it off that way. All right, so. Oh, and she does have like a little, let me see. I think that's, yeah. So again, same thing. She has uh, uh, on her belt, she has these little loops hanging down and they're painted on. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw some of them out just like like uh, it's part of the, it's hanging on the costume, but it's not painted on the costume. Again, because I can't, because this is my sketch. I can do what I want. Okay, let's see. Oh, and regular. This is one of the old uh, knee pad, uh, leg and shin protector. Actually, I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll work. Um, i got to think of how she's standing. 
and what's going to work foot wise what's going to look good so um yeah so she's got the old shin protector like all the old characters did let's see if i can thicken that up just a little bit and make it be like that and i think that'll work for that and i think i'm just gonna have her hand hanging down just uh Let's see, anything special over there? Nope, just an arm, that's it. So I'm just gonna draw her forearm like this. And just hanging down. We'll go ahead and just make a fist. Make it, make, make life easier for us. that what she have on she has a gold bracelet on and I think we're good there so I think it is sharpie time all right let's do it hello and welcome to sharpie town here you'll find two of our favorite residents sharpie fine point and sharpie pen sharpie fine point is going to be mostly used but I'm going to use a sharpie pen to control a few of the tiny things that I can't control with this big sharpie so here we go. So I'm going to do the eyes first and see, nope, I'm wrong. I'm going to do the hair first. This little line right here, just to uh, keep it on top of everything. Now I'm going to do the eyes and this will tell me if I'm, I'm straight, where I've got the head angled or where it is and what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do the top of the brow like that. The other one is kind of covered up a little bit. That's why I wanted to draw that hair first. And so now I'm going to draw the, the roundness of the eye and I go ahead and add the pupil just a little bit like that. Again, the hair is covering up that one, so I can't do too much. Um, and so now I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of draw the bottom of it, and that one's covered up, so I can't really do too much here. I'm just gonna kind of do one of these and add some makeup, kind of like that, because uh, um, what do you call it? The the uh, the bottom of the eye is gonna get, it's all gonna get all muddy if I if I keep going in with the, uh, the Sharpie right here. So I'm just gonna stop there and just let color take care of the rest of that. Here, I'm just gonna do a little bit of the bridge of the nose, just a touch, just a skosh, just to uh, imply that and then let the coloring take care of the rest. So here, I'm gonna do one nostril like that, another one here like this. That'll give us an implied nose. Again, there's only so much I could do with this. So I'm trying to uh, to limit the damage I can do with the Sharpie because it bleeds so much. All right, the bottom lip should have been a little bit bigger. I'm gonna see if I can take care of that. Just like that. Ah, I think that'll work, I think that'll work. But. Look what I did, her head is kind of angled now, so I gotta compensate for that. And instead of the chin being over here, the chin's now gonna be over here. So you gotta uh, calibrate, is what I'm trying to say. So come up with your design and work with what you got. And so now we're gonna draw the bottom of her jaw. And I'm starting to thicken the lines up too, because I'm about to switch over to this, and this is super thick, so I'm trying to make it all cohesive. Okay, so here we can draw the side of her face because this is coming all the way down. You can actually see this. And, uh, and connect it over here, like that. And so I got some hair coming out of the, the, uh, the helmet. So I'm gonna kind of do something like this. Just another one a little down like that because the side of the helmet's about to be put into place right here. Um, let's do the goggles and some more of the hair real fast, and that'll help us guide to where we're going to be. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to pull this off. I'm going to work with the bottom of the goggles like this. Come down in here like that. See if I can thicken it up just a little bit, but not go too crazy. Go back up there like that. And that'll give us edge marks. So I can draw the rest of the hair up to that. That edge right there, draw this hair up to this edge right there. And then I can draw some more hair like this. Because again, I have edges that I can work with. 
And again, thicken them up just a little bit. If you're using a Sharpie, if you're using a pencil, don't worry about it. You do what you want. It's your drawing. This is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Okay, so let's, let's round this up. I'm gonna come up here like this, and now I'm kind of looking at it as to, okay, that's there, that's there. I wanna keep them beveled or level. And so now I'm gonna draw the bottom of the uh, uh, actual lenses, something like this. And see how kind of I have them floating up there. Oh, my Sharpie's going. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I have them raised up a little bit. Oh, that's too much actually. Cause look at look at that bottom part. See that? That's way too low. I uh, I, I did it at too much of an angle. I got I got a little too excited there. And so now, let's see how I can make this work. I'm gonna draw the bottom parts like this, just to see if I can add that extra little magic to make it work like that and I don't want to do anything else than that because uh, uh, I want color to take care of that so here's also where I need to compensate because again I drew the head straight up like that now I have it at an angle so all these little uh, um, rivets not rivets spikes that I drew in here I have to uh, draw at a new angle and same thing with the uh, this little uh, strap that holds it all together. I have to draw it at a new angle now. Calibrate, that's the word, calibrate. Okay, but again, this is my drawing. I control this, so if that's what I wanna do, that's what I wanna do. So, let's try to make this work without having to resketch it. So, I'm going to draw the spikes. I'm gonna draw one like this. I'm going to draw one like this, and I think that works. So now I'm going to kind of do the bottom part because they're they're raised up. And I'm going to do another one up here like this, bottom part. Another one like this, bottom part. Okay, the other ones are uh, the other ones I don't want to do until I draw the edge of the helmet. And so I'm going to go in. I'm just going to draw that helmet, and I'm going to come back with that in a second. But I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Okay, so there's the edge of this. There's the edge of the helmet like that. Then the outer edge like this. And I'm gonna try to, let's see if I can make this work. I'm gonna go up here like this, not hit that. Come around, try not to hit that one. Come around, go down like this. Try to bring it in like that. So it's still a little bit wonky. It could have been better because I still didn't do it right. You know, I messed it up in the first place, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm happy with what I did. I'm just gonna try to thicken it up just a little bit, just to try to hide a few things, kind of hide our mistakes. All right, cool. I can live with that. I can live with that. All right, so now let's just keep going. Uh, oh, no, you know what? I wanted to do a few spikes that were back behind the back of the helmet like that. But I needed that that uh, that level to do that first, so. Okay, cool, let's keep going. So I'm gonna draw her neck down to her shoulder like that. This side of the neck down to, oh yeah, the jacket. Ah, oh, I messed up, I messed up. The jacket, I wanted it up like that. This one, I wanted up like this, just to show the edge that we we're gonna do, remember? Okay, and so her, her uh, shirt collar is going to kind of come around like this sorry I'm just I'm, I'm compensating for uh, uh, using the smaller sharpie to control the edges okay watch this watch this oh yeah I like that we brought it up we made it we made it come alive by adding a little bit of extra magic so now let's go ahead let's do that collar since we're here so we're gonna pop it out like that and come in I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna stop right there because there's another belt going across and um, I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm gonna come in here and do this, do one of these. Now I'm stopping at about the same spot like that where the belt's gonna be. And I'm coming up here and I'm gonna do another one of these and come up like that. And there is a zipper that's through here. So I'm just gonna do this just on the edge. 
another small one over here just on the edge since we're adding that detail we're gonna make that zipper something like that because we're the creators we can do whatever we want to do all right so now let's draw her let's do the belt so I'm gonna do I'm gonna come straight across like that and there's a uh, um, loops, I guess is what that is. I hold the belt on and draw the other side like this. Same thing, the other side like that. And that'll give us the edges we can work with to draw the edge of our jacket. And again, that's just color and the skin. But since we're doing it, since we're creating it, we can do whatever we want. I'm just drawing the edges of that zipper there. And so now I've got edges to work with. So I'm gonna come out here like this, go around for her breast. And then it's a sleeveless shirt, so I'm gonna keep going up and do like this. Same thing, I'm gonna go up here, go around for her breast a little bit, come up here and connect it there because that's where her sleeve is. And so she does have some pockets, like that. There we go. All right, so now let's draw this arm up. And so, sorry, I lost my picture. There we go. So now I'm gonna draw her arm up, throwing the, the deuce, dropping some, some signs, you know? Um, so let's, let's see, let's draw her, let's draw the little armband here. That'll give us a good start stop point like that. So now I can draw her arm up like this, the underside like that coming in. And because she does have an armpit, we're gonna do something like that. And then I can draw over to her elbow like this. I could draw the rest of her bicep like that over to the forearm, but we're gonna stop here because of the old wrist protector or the old, what do I call it? The old uh, uh, wrist communicator. And so I'm gonna draw it up here like this. I'm gonna draw the old boxy like that, connect it here. And I don't know why I did that bump. Yeah, it happens. You do what you do. All right, so now we're gonna draw our hand. And remember, I kind of, oops, drop the Sharpie. I kind of got it going like this. So it's gonna be a little a little tricky, all right? So just bear, bear with me. So we're gonna draw our hand like this to her thumb. Thumb's gonna be out to her finger. I'm gonna draw the first finger like this. Draw the middle finger like that. And then her uh, ring fingers in here, and her pinkies like that. I'm just gonna bring it to her wrist like that. And so now I'm just gonna draw a few little extra lines, like stress lines, I guess is what we're gonna call them, just showing that uh, you know her hands in a little contorted position. You know, it's a little different. And. Uh, We'll just do like this. And there we go. We're done with that. So let's move over to this one. So this one's just hanging down. So all we're gonna do is draw anatomy basically because there's nothing to it. It's just uh, the shoulder, to the arm, to the forearm, to her uh, bracelet. The bracelet, we're just gonna do something like this. And we'll go back the other way. So we're gonna come to her other side of her arm, the forearm, do the bracelet like that. And then we're gonna just do the fist like this. And do the, the other finger like that. It's covered up by the glove. And we're just gonna do like, let's see, we'll do like, let me think of the best way to do this. Like that. And that'll kind of show uh, the inside of the, the hand right there. All right, so we're just gonna add some stress like that. And now we're just gonna draw the rest of her down. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I forgot, I'm gonna draw these real fast um, with uh, this Sharpie. I'm gonna do this. And I want to do it with this Sharpie because I can control the line weight much better. And these are the little loops that are gonna be holding it on. And again, these are 
colored on the, uh, or actually, you don't know this, because I was talking about this while I was sketching. Um, a lot of this stuff, like the jacket flaps, these loops, all that are painted onto the skin. Because when, uh, sorry if I sound repetitive, but I'm saying for this for the people that weren't here, when the designers make these characters in 3D, the less polygons you can use, the faster it'll render. And um, if you paint this stuff on instead of making it 3D pixels, um, they can move much faster, and it helps your your uh, render engine much faster, and you you get a, a better control over your characters. So stuff like this is actually painted onto the uh, skin and not hanging off. But because we're drawing, we get to design it however we want. So I decided to just make them hanging off like they were really there. So, so now we're just going to draw her legs. And so I'm going to go out, in, out, in, just kind of a little stair step. I'm going to come down to her ankle, her ankle, her knee, to the bottom of her pants, like this. Again, to her knee, to her thigh. I'm going to come in a little out, in, out. And I'm just going to draw her crotch like that. And the reason I did that is because she has, uh, you know, the, uh, the old belt loops here, or straps. The reason I say belt loop is because it's, it looks like a studded belt, but we'll do that with color. Um, and I just like to stress that it's tight around that part, you know. So uh, let's let, let's go ahead and do the rest of her legs since we're here. So I'm going to do her boot down to her ankle like that. Same thing. It's going to be the front of the boot, front of the boot like this, over, and just do some tread. Like that, just to give it that that thick look, you know. And usually I don't do the laces; I just kind of do something like this, just so you have something. And I do the laces with color. But I do like to uh, um, add some some folds to the material, just to make it, you know, look uh, used or bent. So same thing. We're gonna do something like that for her here, just because those are places in the cloth that would actually bend. So now we're just going to draw her other leg over here. So this was just kind of sticking out. So I'm going to come down here to the knee and there's going to be a knee pad there. So we're going to just give her one of these like that. And it's got a level to it. So we're going to kind of come in here, do one of these. just to give it some depth. All right, so now I can do the other side of her leg back to her buttocks back there, which you can't see, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and now we're just gonna draw the, the shin protector, like this. And so it is out a little like that, and it's gonna come back in and down Something like this. So I can draw the rest of her pants like this. There's her boot. Like that. And then draw the bottom of her shoe. Like that. And we're gonna give it some tread. And I'm just kind of making that up as I go. I don't have anything specific I do there. And so now I just gotta draw this like I did right there, just a little bit of just something for you, just to give you a, a little bit of, of, of something to draw, like that. All right. Okay, again, I like doing, I like doing creases and folds. Man, do I like it. Okay, so I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Chopper. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.